Hey, Joey Blue here, and I want to talk to you about wild cards. Wild cards inside of a SQL statement. So I have an employee table, and I have run, and there's 14 records for it. And we're going to go ahead and go into the where clause. And we're going to say where employee name, and we're going to use a like statement so we can use a wild card. And so we're going to say like, and I want to see everyone that starts with the employee name starts with the letter A. So I'll say A and then a percent. Percent is a wild card that matches multiple characters. So to get anything that starts with A and then any number of characters after that. So let's run it and see what we get. And there's two employees that start with the letter A, Alan and Adams. So let's do a little more with this. So what if we want to find the people that start with, or that have two L's in the middle of their name? So if we want to do that, we need to put a wild card in the front, and then two L's, and then a wild card after that. And so that means any letters in the front, two L's in the middle, somewhere, and any letters in the back. Let's execute that, and you can see we come up with two different names here. Allen, because it starts with an A, has two L's, and then an E-N. And then Miller, because it starts with an M-I, two L's, and an E-R. Now, what if we wanted the LL to only appear as the second two letters? Well, there's another wild card we can use, which is the underscore. The underscore is a single character wild card. Let's see what happens when we do that. Now we only get one record, because the only name that's starts with one character and then two L's is Allen. The Miller had two characters. So let's see what happens if I go ahead and put another underscore. So that represents two characters and then LL. Now it's Miller because it's MI, two characters. And we had two characters here. We had two underscores. And so that is the wild card. Um, let me do one more example. What if we want to find everyone who ends in R? So let's remove that, put a percent R, R, and let's run that. And so we have two names that end in an R. So that's the introduction into the wildcard characters that are in the SQL language.